All right, good morning. I'm gonna make sure my feed is good. It's 8.30 on Tuesday, and I'm working from home today. So what that means is I have to keep myself motivated. And I have found that when I'm working from home, sometimes I sit around and do nothing. So I'm gonna put some makeup on today, try and get myself in the work mode, and I'm gonna do the new mascara. So if you're on here, say hi so I know who's here. This mascara you can finally order as of yesterday, and I'll do that with you today. I did just a little bit of CC cream already. I'm just working from home, so I don't need a whole face, but I'm gonna do a little bit for fun. I always like to conceal, especially where I have like some hormonal uh, hey Stacy, um, discoloration. So I did the CC cream. I actually did the CC cream in the car. I had to get up early and take Evan to school today. And um, I did CC cream <clears throat> to start. I didn't even wash my face this morning or do moisturizer or anything. I was up by 6.30. Hey Lena. Um, I was up and gone by six, well, gone by seven, I guess. So CC cream, and now I'm doing some concealer, and I'm blending it with, uh, what's new, Stacy? Blending it with the concealer brush, which I love, and you can play this up. So I usually do concealer over my um, foundation or CC cream or whatever. Now, if you have not seen me use this before, does anybody use Lena, do you use this, this translucent loose setting powder? Um, even on a daily basis when I don't have a lot going on and I haven't washed my hair and I haven't showered, but I'm gonna put some makeup on. I love this setting powder. It really finishes off um, if I have anything I'm really trying to even out. I love the look of this. Now I don't have a whole lot of CC cream on, but um, the other thing that we learned, if you saw the makeup video, hey Jen, if you saw the makeup video that Bailey did with us, getting ready to take the kids, oh Stacy, you poor girl, kids in the grocery store, that's tough. Um, if anybody saw the makeup video that Bailey came over and did with Lena and Jessica, who else was here, Lena? She did setting powder. She said she loved it when Bailey did her makeup for the setting powder. Bailey taught us to use this setting powder, and Bailey is a licensed um, makeup artist, okay? And Bailey's actually a little girl I used to babysit, and now she's, what, 24? She's not little anymore. I've known her since she was six months old. Bailey taught us that this is called baking, and she, I kind of blend it all in, but she leaves it pretty heavy until she's all done, um, and then she said it doesn't, brownies don't bake in a, in a minute, neither do your face. Kelsey, that was the other person who did makeup. But I just love this translucent setting powder. And so I just, I'm not gonna put on a lot of makeup and stuff today. So I do that. And then Bailey also taught us that you should be doing your powders on top of powders. So before you do your blush and your bronzer like this, that you should actually have that layer of powder on there so that it goes on more smoothly instead of your blush or your bronzer or whatever being stuck in one spot. So I like the setting powder, even if I was done right now and just went straight into mascara, but I'll do a little bit of blush and bronzer because uh, everybody that's here with me, which is no one today, doesn't care, but I care. Okay, I need to swipe the comments just for a second so I can see. So I'm doing the palette. Does anybody have this palette? Lena, do you have this? Jen, you don't have this yet, do you? Um, this, did I just switch over to the con to the bronzer? Darn it. This is a um, bronzer, contour, I need my other brush, but that's okay. Um, highlighter and blush, and this is the one I do all the time. And I just kind of, don't worry, I'll blend it in. I'll blend it in. I kind of, uh, you're not supposed to blow on your makeup brushes either, but I do that all the time. Um, I do the contour first and then I'll do the bronzer. Don't worry, I'll, I'll fix all that. 
and then I do the blush, and I love the highlighter, which I never, ever, ever did the highlighter. I didn't even know what it was supposed to be doing. And then I learned about it, and it's amazing. So, I just like to give a little color to my face, and I might have put too much on my nose, but you can always fix it. The blush is only one color, so if you do this palette, you don't customize the colors. It just comes like it is. And then the highlighter, I actually, I'll blend all this in in a minute. I actually like to do the highlighter with the concealer brush, personally. I just like that application. And you can do some, I'm being so fast and messy today. Um, you can do it under your brow bone, over your brow bone. Sometimes if I do lips, I even do a little like there. But anyhow. And then I just blend it all in. Okay, so I'm going to do the mascara today. That's really what I wanted to share with you guys. Because finally, Lena has this mascara. And Lena already has amazing eyelashes. If you bought the kit in Vegas, which was in May you have this mascara already. I need to do my brows too. If you didn't buy the mascara yet, you have had to wait until yesterday and you can finally get it. I need a little bit of lip color. Oh well. Okay, I'm gonna do my brow gel and then I'll do the mascara. Lena, if you're still on here, talk to me about the mascara. Um, finally, for the first time in 12 years, I use Arbon Arbonne's mascara instead of, and this is the brow gel, this is not mascara, obviously. Um, I can't talk and think at the same time. Hold on. I'm not that multi-talented to do all this all at once. So the mascara I'm about to show you in just a second. I have not used Arbonne's mascara for 12 years. I've tried it. Every time we come out with a new one, I try it. And I always go back to my Fiber Lash mascara. I might have to look in my mirror, see what I'm doing better here. But anyhow, the Fiber Lash mascara, I've always preferred because it's not only, um, I just like thick, I like the thickening from it. So finally, 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 we have a mascara that not only lengthens because that other one, the It's a Long Story was amazing at lengthening, but finally, oh, I've got my comments off, so I can't see if you guys are talking to me. Hold on. Um, not yet, she says. Okay. Hey, Melissa. So finally, we have a mascara that not only lengthens, but it thickens, and yeah, Jen, I don't know what you're talking about, cream or powder, the palette, but Lena answered your question. Everything's powder that I've used except this and this. Um, anyhow, so this mascara, I'll do one coat right now. I have to I have to go over to my mirror and see what I'm doing a little better so you can kind of see. Um, you can do multiple coats of this. Oh, look, I already messed up. You can stack it. I usually do one coat and I'm happy with it, especially for like today, for what I'm doing, which is nothing. But I feel like, and Lena, you can talk to this as well, I feel like it goes on quickly. It's not really wet, which I guess, the other one for me stayed really wet, so it was hard to see. Stack it? I don't know. Like, if I want to let this set for just a minute and then go do it again, it's easy to stack. It dries really quickly. And I feel like not only does it lengthen, but it does a really good job of thickening. I'll show you both eyes in a second here. I'm trying to be perfect since you guys are watching this. How perfect can I do my mascara? I'm so... Okay. Okay. What do you think? That's one coat. Lena said it's amazing. Every time I wear it, everyone has something to say about how long and beautiful they are. I also love that it doesn't irritate my eyes. Okay, so 
What do you guys think? One coat, I'll do it again just because we're all together here. Um, that was one coat. I did not curl my lashes. If I'm really getting set up good, I will um, blow dry my lashes up. Like, have you ever blow dried your lashes to make them go up? And I will curl them sometimes. My light went off, sorry. Curl them sometimes. So that's one coat. Let me see. I need to take a picture because I had a customer ask. I'm going to take a photo. I need Lena to take a photo because you are much more photogenic. So it's not as runny and it doesn't clump. Okay, so that's what we were talking about. Let me send a picture to Linda. <laughs> I'm laughing at myself. It doesn't clump and I don't think it's water resistant or waterproof. But what I've noticed is when you go to take your makeup off at night, you do have to work harder on this mascara like to get it off. So I have to pay more attention. Like I can just use this cleanser or the regular cleanser. But um, sometimes it will actually like I can wash my whole face and my mascara stayed on, which I actually like. But there's no way it's waterproof. I bet it's water resistant. All right. There, before I did my eye again, I had to take a picture for a customer. Okay, so this mascara, you can get it as of yesterday. I'll do another coat. Just because we're here. You, There are people who do like three or four coats. I'm really happy, honestly, with one because I personally have a harder time doing multiple and keeping it looking really clean like I'm having right now. And I'm getting on my eyes, but who cares? I'll fix it. Everything is fixable. In fact, I should use this. That'd be much better. Um, I finally feel like I have a little bit of the lash extension look that I was looking for without having to go pay for lash extensions. And price point, this is $9 cheaper than the old mascara. It's cheaper. I like it better. Hey Paige, hey Pam. All right, that was two coats. I'm happy with one. When I do two coats, I feel like it gets a little much for me, but I did it so you can see it. Um, that's it, new mascara. I don't know what else, I guess I, sh I should probably do the other eye, but I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it undone just for a picture I'm gonna do for a customer that wanted to see it. And get yours. You got 45 days return privilege if you don't love it as much as we do. Any questions on this? Um, but yes, Lena is exactly right. It does not flake. Um, it dries really quickly. It stays on. It's thickening. It's lengthening. And I love that it's kind of water resistant. So when I'm swimming with the kids or whatever, it's not running down my face the same way as the other one was, but it's not waterproof. So, you know, you're not going to be able to go to the water park all day and have it be waterproof. But it stay. I mean, I even wash my face at night and then when I've watered, I still have mascara on. Mascara. All right, I'm going to hang up. If you guys don't have any questions, have a great day. Thanks for tuning in. Order you some mascara or message me if you're a preferred client. Um, don't forget you have a free item offer Anytime you place a 150 order, plus you get your discount, plus free shipping. I don't think this is on the free list. All kinds of other stuff is, though. And you can buy this. All right, see you later.